Nah, this brings me bad memory. I can't. It's so... <laughs> Sure, welcome back to my channel. As of this week, I've officially moved back to my old house and I'm currently sitting in a storeroom which I actually made it into a walk-in closet instead. Um, over the years, I've accumulated a lot of clothes. Right before I move out of this place, my clothes probably occupy about three boxes only but now that I come back, I... <laughs> I have more clothes and it's taking up too much space so I decided to declutter my whole entire closet so without further ado, let's dive right into this video oh yeah before that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and like this video this is my outfit of the day very comfortable, very airy so suitable for this closet cleaning situation and I'm also borrowing my sister's mirror because I throw away my this mirror so let's stop this nonsense and go straight into this closet shit it's a mess I didn't even bother color coding them because when I was unpacking my box there's like too many things I decided to just faster hang them up and yep so now it's a mess and there's a lot of clothes even my freaking pole it's about to collapse because my clothes is too heavy can you see how distorted this thing is if i'm gonna add some more clothes it's gonna topple and probably hit that light bulb over there so we really need to get some weight off this freaking pole but i don't really have a lot of space in the storeroom to film literally everything i don't think you can even see the top but okay let me try to adjust a bit that's better I'm going to use this thing to grab the freaking shit down because I'm very short. It's very obvious, I know. I got this dress from Tent. It's so freaking cute. It makes me look like a princess when I wear this, but I don't see the point of having this dress anymore because I don't get the opportunity to wear it at all. Oh my god. Just look at how freaking pretty this outfit is. I love the freaking ruffles and it's so freaking long. It makes me look like a freaking ancient princess. <laughs> I'm not. Gross. Okay. I don't know man. Okay, I really love these ruffled details. But it's not long enough to cover like my whole entire leg. I don't know. Should I keep this? I can't. It's so pretty. Okay, maybe this is gonna be the last time I'm wearing this mixed piece of outfit. This is no longer my style. Nah, this brings me bad memory. I think one of the, my classmates actually have this and no, but we ain't gonna wear the same freaking jacket in school, girl. Nah, actually this is my favorite jacket. I bought this from boogies or something and I think back then this jacket is actually quite trendy but I guess it's already out of trend also um goodbye my beloved jackets this is a cardigan so I'll still need this I'm not going to sell it away this is also another cardigan but I don't think I'm going to wear this anymore. Um, somehow this color looks like an old granny color, so I'm no longer interested in this even though it's very comfortable to wear. It's not very thick, but it definitely keeps me warm in the cinema, but like I said, it's no longer my style. So, goodbye cardigan. The next piece it's still very nice to wear so I'm gonna keep this Everlast jacket I'm not gonna wear this Adidas jacket it's no longer my style either I love this a lot although I don't really get the chance to really wear it in Singapore because the weather is so hot but I still wear it because it's so freaking nice and it's pink <laughs> my favorite Mm -hmm. 
red jackets got this from like cotton on so I actually like this piece because it's a very uncommon color in my closet but guess what um, there was this time I was wearing this red jacket with like a red top and a white skirt to school and people thought that I'm celebrating National Day. The thing about Singapore is that if you ever wear red and white outside, people will think that you're celebrating National Day because you are wearing red and white. You know what that means? You're representing the Singapore flag. Story of my life. Look at this freaking dress. Oh my freaking god. It's so pretty. It's very Chanel inspired. I can't. It's so... <laughs> um, apparently I got this from Taobao. But I don't seem to... Actually, I'm honestly a dog lover. I swear. I love dogs but a dog in my house that's a different story that's not a dog guys okay back to this video so I freaking love this dress but guess what I don't get the opportunity to wear it in Singapore so um, I'm gonna freaking sell this away This is how much I've cleared for the top section and yeah, just look at the amount of mess I have over here. They are mostly dresses, um, some of the dress that I probably don't even wear it, um, some I just wore once and then I no longer interested. Um, there are also some jackets that have some story behind why I no longer want it anymore. <sighs> Now we are moving on to the tops and the jeans. I'm getting really tired I cleared like a couple of tops already I think that's half of this rack but anyway let me just take a short break and tell you guys another story behind this top here so last year I posted a China haul video so if you guys watch it you guys should know that this top is from China so the first thing I step into H&M I saw this freaking top and I'm just freaking in love with it because it's so freaking bright and it's just very bright it'll be a very nice outfit to wear to the club but the thing is I don't go to club so I wore it to school because I am always in school every weekday I guess if I don't skip school there was one day I wore this with a pair of jeans to school um, because my day is really very dull and I need to wear something that brighten up my day then there's this schoolmate that walk up to me and talk to me randomly and then he says uh you look very familiar I think I see you before <gasps> oh wait I think you're the highlighter that I see every day in my freaking pencil case <laughs> oh my god I don't know if that's a compliment or it's just a joke but yeah thanks for freaking complimenting me for looking like a freaking highlighter that brightens up your day i guess no regrets though i'm still gonna keep this in my wardrobe and probably wear this once in a while or just whenever i need to brighten up my day
finally, finally done with my entire decluttering process. Oh my god. Oh, I cleared up quite a lot of clothes really. Uh, these are the clothes that I still want. Oh my god, please don't drop. Please don't drop. Oh, I just need some time. Okay. Never mind. So I just need some time to hang them up later on. Um, these are pretty much the clothes that I still want. Cleared quite a lot of dress and tops mostly. That's why I have a lot of empty hangers. <sighs> if I know that I have that much hanger left, I wouldn't have went to IKEA to buy out oh, another bundle of hangers. Oh, that hurts though. Actually, oh my god. My face is gonna be disfigured soon. These are the pile of clothes that I no longer want it anymore. Or they are just not my style anymore. Um, I'm gonna upload them on Carousel. And if you guys happen to be interested, you guys can just check out this username. There are some clothes that belong to my sister as well. If you want it, you can also get it. <sighs> okay. This is gonna be a very 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 long process because just look at these entire clothes. I can form a mountain already. Like ah it's so much. It already occupy like 50% of my closet space. Oh my god. Okay, stop talking, start working. I look like a mess but that's not the point of this video the point is I'm finally done decluttering and packing up most of my clothes I even tried to color code and organize my closet as much as possible <sighs> this took me more than three hours to get everything done I think I started at like what 8 p.m. and now it's already 12 8, 9, 10. It's freaking 4 hours, okay. It took me 4 hours to finish this entire decluttering process. <laughs> I'm tired. Are you ready for the final result? Drum roll please! It is so much neater now. Um. It's definitely not as perfect as what you think it might be but I really tried my best to really color code them and segregate the tops and the dresses as well as the jackets here That is pretty much my closet I'm actually very satisfied with this whole entire decluttering process I know it's very long and really tiring but it's totally worth it. I guess this is pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoy this decluttering process somehow. And maybe you might find it satisfying. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy this video as always. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and follow my social media. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!